shouldn't you be resting? I'm fine. In fact, I'm glad we have this chance to talk. I've been reading, and I hope that someday we can make our kingdom like the place in this book. You said it was some kind of fantasy novel, didn't you? Mm. Our lives are decided at birth, by tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. I don't want that to be the world we live in. The Elder here are a perfect example. If you'd not sheltered me, I would never have survived. And yet, they burned your home down. It's tragic, and no one should have to suffer so. Someone needs to fix... <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Don't push yourself so hard. Reality is much too cruel. I know that. But I'll fight it. I'll fight to the end. I'm a prince. But I need to be a hero. One worthy of the throne. A hero? One who can lead. A beacon who will pierce the darkness when all seems lost. My father taught me that. In his stories, the kingdom was full of legendary heroes. So I can't give up. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. Not that I expect it will be easy. I believe in you. <laughs> Familiar words. When I'm down, when I struggle, you're always there to help me through it. <sighs> Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. I won't give up either. Trust me. Until arrival at the northern border fort, one day remains. Let's see. This place here. Don't forget. Okay, then. The carriage transporting the new recruits arrives at its destination. The northern border fort. The towering fortress was built during the Annex War, in the mountains at the edge of the territory. Even now, soldiers are sent there for its strategic importance to the royal capital, and to combat the rising waves of monsters. Fresh-faced soldiers disembark from their coaches at the foot of a steep ascent to the fort, the first of many uphill battles. 
Oh, finally. Can hardly feel my legs. Listen well, you lackwits. The battlefield is no place to sit on your asses, and the border front is always a battlefield. The call to arms could sound at any time. Stand to, curs. You have the honor to serve at the command of Captain Klinger, war hero, tactician, master of arms. When I earn rank in the trenches, forged in the blood of my comrades, Spare us this drivel. Say, friend, I'm curious. What is it about that book that's captivated you so? It's interesting. It tells the tale of a world with no magla arts. A peaceful one. A world with no magla arts would be better, would it? I, I admit, I'm intrigued. So it's describing a better world. A utopia, perhaps. I'm something of a reader myself, but that's not like any book I've read. You know, when the late king took the throne, he was quite the idealist himself. He made grand claims about unifying the people under his rule. Never managed to do it in the end, of course. Reform takes more than high-minded, eloquent speeches. Maybe he was too blind to see that himself. Listen to you. A babe with his first sword, thinking he knows better than a king. Keep your mouth shut. No one cares what you think. Ugh, nobody asked you. Something to say? Go on. I'm listening. If it's a fight you want, draw your blade. <laughs> Didn't think you'd just challenge me, Stray Al. You've got guts for a lesser tribesman. Well, Clamar, I'll let it go this time, but only because I like your friend. Next time, keep your complaining to yourself. That's the last thing I need. Though I suppose I deserved it in part, speaking ill of the dead and all. My mouth tends to get ahead of my thoughts sometimes. Although, I'm glad a bad habit seems to have drawn us together. Oh, never got round to an introduction. I'm Stroll. Leon Stroll, son of the Count of Harlia. And you are? That's my name. I have that right? It's got a certain weight to it. For what it's worth, my title doesn't mean much. Here and now, we're peers and equals. By the skin of my teeth! Now, um, where was I? Right, as for you, fresh meat. Someone, help! Is that a, a soldier? Hey, speak to me, man. What happened? Listen. Stay on guard. Is... Is two... Uh... Not one of mine. Must be one of the fort's guard. Those damn vultures across the border. They must have heard about the king's death. Uh, anyway, to the fort. Double time. I'll stay behind to uh, see to the poor bastard's wounds. You want us to go on ahead? Alone? Shouldn't we at least send a team back to ask for... I knew fear would take you at the first step. You want to turn tail? Are you a traitor to the cause? The guard has no place for cowards. You are part of His Majesty's Royal Army. Swallow your fear. Fight with pride. And we'll all have medals this time tomorrow! He's right. We're warriors. Up there is our first chance of glory and riches. Damned if I'm gonna waste it. Let's go! Damn it. Well, I suppose this is what we signed up for. Onward, to the fort then. Hey, I've got a bad feeling about this. It's hard to explain, but it's like there's... a stench in the air, and it's getting stronger. Hey, did something happen? Wait, is that a... fairy? Did you catch it yourself? She's with me. 
Yes, and I have a name, by the way. It's Galica. So you travel together? You've stayed well hidden for quite a while. Well, I didn't want anyone making a fuss. But we've got bigger problems right now. I can't shake this feeling. You've got to be careful. Agreed. I'll follow orders, but I'm not about to let this armchair general send me to my death. Let's take a moment, then head in once we're prepared. I assume you know how to use an igniter properly? I'm not so sure. He's never used one before. I mean, he's a commoner, so not much chance to. Fair enough. Well, just stay behind me and you'll be all right. I swear I won't let you die. I'm with you. Oh, this is bad. I didn't think you'd actually have to fight anyone. I just hope our contact in the fort's okay. Let's keep our guard up and hope we find out. survivors.
What do you think? Take care of it, please. Things will be fine. Let's go! Burn! I think I'm getting used to this. Okay. I feel stronger. That'll do it. Fall just as easy. Not bad. I'll strive for greater heights. I think that's all of them. Cat! <laughs> Run. No. Hold on. 
like you. I get it now. What? Was that? Hurry! Let's hurry! I'm far away! We'll win this! Everyone, go! I won't hold back! Fire! Wish every fight was that easy, eh? Shows the wrong opponent. I think we're in the clear. Let's give him a fight. Let's settle this quick. The next one will fall just as easy. Looks like we're safe for now. Great find. Keep it. Leave it to me. I'm heading out. it off somehow. Damned humans. It was all because of them. We'll just have to make it work. I won't hold back. Burn! My own monster. You're mine! Not 
going down like this. Distracted. You two, run! What? Above all else, I am a noble. And a noble defends his people, no matter the cost. Farewell. If you would repay me, then live. <laughs> Forgive me. What? No! Please, say something! Stroll! Don't be a fool! Just run for it. <sighs> oh, fate saddled child. Oh, anguished traveler. <laughs> thy fate is crown twined, thy soul bound for the throne. A future yet unknown dawns in this moment. <laughs> thy path may fork, but only one may be chosen. Confront the threat before thee, or die here in obscurity. Now choose. I choose. <laughs> so be it. Heroism lies in the soul that stands firm against its fears. Power awaits thy command. The time is come to awaken the hero within. Engrave thy very heart. <laughs> back we're dead can't we fend off those attacks somehow Bad at all. True power is born of the heart. 
a wish from which thy strength is drawn. Yet fear and anxiety always trail in such a wish's wake. Since time immemorial, those we call heroes have earned the title through this order. They pursued their wishes and boldly walked a path of virtue. What thou hast awakened is the true spirit of a hero. The power that lies dormant in all of us. The power to reforge the fear of the unknown into curiosity. If thou wouldst change the world by thine own hand, take this newfound power and venture forth. Thy journey shalt reveal thy soul's mission. What was that voice? And you! What was that power you used? You had a metal heart, and your whole body was... It was crazy! Uh, uh. Look, that stroll guy is still alive! I'll be damned. Someone actually survived. That voice... Grius! Oh, thank God! Miss, you're alive! Gallica! You made it. He's our man on the inside. The one I'm delivering the message to. He's badly hurt. You, boy, lend me your shoulder. We'll need to carry him. The smell of blood will draw out the beasts. Let's not hang about. The lad's out cold, but he'll live. We should be fine if we take a moment's rest here. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes, Grius. Just wish it were under better circumstances. We're both alive. And you can't ask for much better in these parts. Sorry I couldn't join you in the fray. So, this is our newcomer, eh? How'd this boy manage to command power like that? It's like nothing I've ever seen. Do you know anything about it? I might. For now, the mission comes first. Ah, uh, right. I'd better just get straight to the message. Grius? You have a new mission. Avenge the king. And kill Lee Squeaburn. Well, good. It's about damn time. Those scheming nobles haven't said so publicly, but every soldier knows it was nothing natural that killed the king. Damn that, Luis. Couldn't stop at one royal, could he? Wait, there's more. The prince is getting worse. We're running out of time. Here, look. I brought a treasure from the village. They called it a Farsight Mirror. You need to see the Prince's condition for yourself. His Highness won't last much longer. Those thorns are thick enough to claim him. Luis cast the curse. So killing him is the only way to lift it. If we wait any longer, they're just gonna crown a new king. Who's Luis? Is that a real question? About 15 years ago, a child enlisted in the army. But it wasn't his age that had people talking. It was his ruthless military genius. Hero to some, monster to others. Luis Guillaume, a prodigal tactician and a master of magla arts. Some said it was only a matter of time before he made General. The youngest the nations had. Until he attacked the Prince. That night, when the Prince's quarters were breached, it was no ordinary mage who cast that fatal curse. It was Luis Guillaume himself. But the son's death wasn't enough for him. Now he's got the father's blood on his hands. And if that king-slaying fiend ends up on the throne, we're all doomed. But when we were exploring the royal capital, there were a lot more Luis supporters than I expected. How can they still trust him after all that? Luis is cunning. He left no evidence. Accuse him as you will, or the allegations wouldn't stick. All they could do was send him as far away as possible. A post in the middle of nowhere. Plenty of soldiers never believed the charges in the first place. When they look at him, they see a capable veteran unjustly made into the noble scapegoat. Most think the Royal Army was at its best when he was in charge. And in truth, it's hard to deny. 
Without him, we'd never have crushed the rebel uprising so quickly. Damn the man. But he's earned his titles. He's mastered the blade, magic, and he's clearly intelligent. To the masses who want change, he seems the savior they need. If even you're that worried about him, then this isn't going to be easy. That's a hell of a mission. And I want in. So that's your game, eh? Pretend to sleep, eavesdrop on the plan. You're a fool to give yourself away. If you want my blood, then let your blade strike true. I'm not going to run. Not from you, and not from a chance to do what's right. Look, Grius, he saved our lives back there. And it sounds like we could use the help. Seems like kind of a waste to kill him. Especially if he's volunteering. <sighs> then answer me this. The boy's all but a stranger to you. Yet you risk your life to save him. Why? I would live, fight, and die a noble, sir. To have done otherwise would betray my title, to say nothing of my heart. Uh, I'm losing my edge. Make me regret this, and I will slay you where you stand. You'll let him help us? Right then. My life and sword are yours. As far as the rest of the world's concerned, you perished in that castle. You'll find the job ahead will be easier for a dead man. Your lives are kept only by the blades in your hands. And you'll raise them at my command. We have to. Luis will also be in the royal funeral. If we're not back to the capital by then, we lose our chance at his head. But no main roads. That'll mean checkpoints and questions. We're bound for a different route. We'll cut through the abandoned mine up ahead to save us going the long way round. For tonight, see to your wounds. We'll leave at first light. But I'm counting on you. Feels like the mission is finally starting. Let's set up our camp then. Now, we should finally be able to get some rest. This your first deployment, boy. Thank your lucky stars you survived a brush with a human. What the hell was that? It was like no beast I've ever seen. No one truly knows. They're protected by Magla, so even the sharpest steel does little good against them. They're no simple beast. All we do know is with every passing year, more of their kind tear travelers apart. That was why I was first sent undercover here, investigating. And? Did you learn anything? Simmer down, boy. There wasn't a damn thing to be found on those monsters. Ah. <sighs> well, the moon's still low. If you've any other questions, now's the time. I want to hear about the mission. With numbers like this, a head on assault would be suicide. Quick, covert assassinations are best bet. Kingslayer or no, Luis has a lot of public favor behind him. To the people, he's the only man with the wit and war power to bring down humans. The military seems powerless to stop them, so he plays savior. The man's practically a monster himself. By your age, he was not only a master tactician, but damn near an archmage besides. And the three of us alone are supposed to stop him. We'll just have to blend in with the crowd at the funeral. I won't abide him surviving the ceremony. He will die by my hand. <laughs> <laughs>